have we seen have we seen the wildcat get put on the shelf at this point? Uh, no, the the wildcat's not uh, what I want on fourth down and inches with a six foot five, two hundred and thirty five pound quarterback. Uh, so it's it's going to be put on the shelf for short yardage, for, for sure. At all after that? Uh, I was on it pretty quickly, and Chip agreed. I mean, if we'd made it, we we made it at South Carolina. Uh, if we'd made it tonight, nobody said anything, and and probably it would have been a mistake later on. So I'm glad it happened. Uh, we also didn't block the backside on the third and one, uh, and we've got to do that. So those are those are things that that we can do better to, as coaches. Um, and we got some things we can do better on defense as coaches. So um, uh, all those things are, are things that, that we'll look at. And uh, thank goodness, it, it's uh, again, it's much easier to correct things after wins uh, because they're, they're easier to get on. If they're so down tonight because they let somebody down, then I get on them, it makes it worse. So I, I, can, uh, I can be pretty aggressive tomorrow. Matt, Last one, Mary. Go ahead. Yes. Matt, I'm sorry? The upcoming week is uh, um, get rid of uh, missed assignments, um, play better on third down defense, uh, do a better job in short yardage offense, um, protect better. We had a holding penalty on a third and 15 that we make. You can't do that. You, you, uh, so um, in key plays, uh, you can't let somebody have 19 plays. And Minnesota will try to do that. They'll line up and they'll be more physical than App State. Um, so they're going to enjoy watching this film. So go back and play with low pads. Uh, go back and be aggressive. Got to play the ball better at corner. Uh, we had opportunity after opportunity. This is the kind of game it was. It's fourth and one. We, we tell them they're probably going to hit the tight end. And said Gray covers him like a blanket. And we, he catches it. And then they throw a deep ball to eight down our boundary. Marcus Allen's all over him. And I think we're going to intercept it. And he catches it. And there's a ball in the middle that uh, Geo Biggers is going to intercept, and, and they hit him, and he, and he doesn't catch it. So what we've got to do is do a better job of, of taking advantage of opportunities uh, that we missed tonight. Somebody over here had one more, and I'll quit. Yeah, Come on. Yeah. Yeah, I think it's a great thing for the state of North Carolina to have, and I encourage NC State and East Carolina and, and <laughs> all those people to schedule them and play them because it's a, it is a fun game. I'm, I'm proud for App State. Like I said, they've got to go. They got East Carolina at home next week and go to Wyoming. I mean, Sean Clark has a. We got a difficult schedule. He's got a real difficult schedule. So. Uh, but but uh, uh, one of the problems with those type games, we play Charlotte, we play NC Central next year, is that all of the pressure is on our kids. There's no pressure on App State because nobody thinks they're going to win a game. But all the pressure is on us. And unless we win, we're awful. Uh, and it, it just kills you uh, because it's a regional game. Uh, so... Um, I think that's the most difficult thing is it's a, it's a great game. I love Sean Clark. Uh, I, 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 he played for Stacey Searles. He played for Coach Moore. I've known him. He's best, best friends with Lonnie Galloway. Uh, and I love watching those kids compete. I love his offense. I mean, they, they, you know what they're going to do? And they still do it. And they still do it good. The little back's unbelievable. He'll be a pro player. Um, so, um, yeah, but... Um, I'm 72. It's not my style. I, I, I don't. I don't want to go to overtime anymore at home with App State. So I'm. I'm uh, somebody said, "Didn't you go to overtime last year?" And I said, "No. We should have gone down on the extra on the onside kick, but we stopped them on the two point player. We would have been overtime last year. And then if we'd made the field goals, 56 yard field goal the first year I was here, that would have been overtime. So I've had enough. I'll enjoy my house in Linville and." And uh, brag on all the App State players and, and their coaches, but I'm, I'm glad we're through. All right, thanks, Coach. Thank you all.